Welcome back to Rock Hill, South Carolina for the 2024 College Disc Golf National Championship presented by Innova. This is the back nine of the fourth and final round of our Division I men's team competition. I'm Nathan Johnson, joined in the booth today by Nick Hansen. Nick, how is it going? Oh, it's great. And man, have we had some good disc golf so far this week. I'm excited for these last nine holes and I'm ready to crown a winner. Yeah, we saw a super back and forth front nine here in the fourth round. UNC Charlotte started with a four stroke lead. NC State took six strokes in the first six holes to hop ahead by two. And UNC Charlotte buried the last three of the front nine to get themselves to 23 under. We've got a three way tie at the top with nine holes to play. I'm sure we are in for an exciting finish. Yeah, we've got some good holes coming up, but let's jump into hole 10, downhill, 413 feet, par three, hazard on that left side of the sidewalk, and as you can see where those large rocks are, very important to have good angle control here. Yeah, a couple different options here. You see some go with the straight backhand. If you have the power, some people may go spike hyzer wide over that right tree, or maybe power sidearm is an option as well. Jack Lang up first for UNC Charlotte. Just going with that nice straight backhand. This is looking great if it sits. Oh, sit down. There we go. See, look at that. Skipping all the way up by the sidewalk and almost still reaching the hazard. Yeah, very quick ground play on this sloped green. This is one way to mitigate that ground play. The power sidearm coming in for Glenn Fister, and that is a great shot. Sticks it even closer. Wow. That's a big forehand. That is a big forehand. 413, a little downhill, but uh, in the swirly winds we had today, a very impressive shot. This is Zach Guess with the shot for NC State. Pulls it a bit, catches that tree there. See if Logan Edelman can improve on that lie. Oh, and unfortunately finding the same tree. Folks, if you are just joining us, um, these are teams of four split into two. Um, they are playing, between the two pairs, they're playing alternate best shot doubles. So four players, one score. And if you're just joining us, I mean, where have you guys been? We've had some great disc golf so far in College Nationals. Go back and watch some of the other coverage that's been out from this week. I promise you will not regret Like yesterday's it. round. Yeah, exactly. Nice upshot. Wonderful upshot there, yeah, by NC State. Wanting the birdie, but saving par is always good, like we've been saying. Oh, and a little short there from UNC Charlotte. Yeah, that was Tom Stanley on the shot there. See if Owen Rice is able to connect for the birdie. Oh, and he is also short. Wow, that's a that's a pretty big miss for them. I know they missed some putts early, but they've been making them lately, and that's one you gotta have here coming down the stretch. But into hole 11, 303 feet, par three. Just a dead straight shot. Whatever can fly, the flattest, the straightest for you. I want to land about at this tree, let it scoot up to the basket, drop in your birdie. Yeah, next couple pair of holes, usually playing as a par four for the USDGC, a couple of par threes for this tournament are definitely must gets in this doubles format. Got to give yourself some sort of look. That was a nice shot there, catches that last tree. Going to come up right around circle's edge. This one looks to be a little left. Outside circle, maybe have a step out. They'll have some options there. Yeah, definitely a tester putt coming up. So the door back. Open for NC State. This is a bit pulled, gonna have to get lucky. And a 
Just way too much cabbage over there. Not gonna get through. Yeah. Gus Jones here with a oh, super no. smooth hyzer flip. He has he has been putting in the work today for this NC State team. Yeah. He's been making long putts, throwing shots like that. Definitely Super Bowl MVP worthy if his team is able to come out on top. Ooh, as this putt sails a bit from Glenn Pfister. It's a bit longer than I thought originally. It's probably out in the 40-foot range or so. Ooh. Also just a little right. I feel like we've seen more of those today than ever before. Um, a lot of missed putts to the right. I'm wondering why. Yeah, I think just a little bit of nerves, guys. Just not really trusting the putt. Maybe a little extra wrist than they're normally used to. Big circles edge putt here for NC State. And that is a big time make from Zach Guess, able to knock it down and grab the lead back for the Wolfpack. Ooh, a little high there. I'm gonna put the pressure on his teammate, but should be able to clean this one up. Yeah, just about a 15 footer or so. Little tailwind putt. Just gotta jam it in there. Rice knocks it down left side, but that'll work. Yeah, we'll take those. All right, on to hole 12. 199 feet, par three. Players are gonna go through that initial gap there with a slower speed disc. You really need to kind of stall at the end if you're you know heading towards the basket with too much speed. We've been seeing people get into that back deep stuff, and there's no looks back there. Was he lining up the roller? I think he was. Wow. I not gonna lie, that's kind of nasty. <laughs> for a 199 foot hole, that is a bold strategy. Um, but I mean, I'm sure he it, it's working for him if he's if he's going to it here. So I would have loved to see how that turned out. Now, a lot of pressure though on uh, Logan Edelman here. Got to hit this gap. At least get your teammate up there somewhere for some sort of look. And, oh. <sighs> it's unfortunate. NC State's going to be looking at par at best here. Yeah, door opens. Once again. Again. Yep. This is just great back and forth golf. I know. I'm on the edge of my seat. This is awesome to watch. Big forehand here coming up. Jack Lang peers it. Needs a little bit of ground play. Okay. That'll putt for sure. A little short, but, you know, hey, it's a start. We at least got somebody on the dance floor. Yeah, look at those branches. Just the wind picking up here. Oh, just pulls it. Channeling the power of Nate Sexton here. Oh, see, and there's that shot I was talking about. If you come into that green too fast, you're going to get back into those trees, and it's unlikely you're going to have a look. Yeah, you can have a 20-footer on this green and not much to work with, so it's really important to put this one close. Oh, a little backstop action, but we'll take that. Yeah, that'll work. That'll putt from about 15. Little window here now for Charlotte. Going to have to go with a little low ceiling spinner from just outside the circle. Oh, let's go. This Ooh. is the team we saw yesterday. And like I was saying at the end of the front nine, they are back. They are back. They took the first six holes off for a little cat nap, but Charlotte has woken up 
That was a great putt there from Owen Rice to secure the birdie. And we are all tied up yet again. folks hole 13 downhill 391 feet you do have ob left and right side there the out around sidearm is available but like we talked about yesterday is a very difficult shot i would assume we'll see most people go right down the middle yeah, just a little mid-range flip up maybe fairway driver whatever you're most comfortable with this needs to turn Ooh. That's a great break. That was headed straight for that hazard on the left-hand side, but now the door is open for another aggressive shot. Oh, I like this one. Stay up, though. Oh, and it does. Gets into the circle. Wow. That was a clutch shot there from Tom Stanley, giving his team a chance and another birdie look coming up. This is not turned enough. Headed for that same tree and doesn't get the break. Can Gus Jones come up clutch again for his team? Uh oh. This is tracking for that OB yeah, on the other down. side. Uh, that's an unfortunate break for them. I would like to mention, though. Uh, the University of Cincinnati has just come off this hole with a turkey. Three birdies in a row, so they are still in it. Yeah, more than just these two teams to worry about down the stretch here. Cannot take their foot off the gas. Oh, a great bid there from Logan, just a bit high. Oh, this is closer than I thought it was. Yeah, call this a 15-footer for the birdie, and... Knocks it down, Jack Lang. That's a big one for Charlotte. Taking his time, make sure he secures that one. A little bit of Matty O in, in that putt there. Yeah, I kind of saw that too. All right, here's a hole everybody knows. For us, it's hole 14, 249 feet downhill, OB Island. If you are OB off the tee, you go to the first drop zone, and from there you would cascade to the second, if once again OB. This is a great hole for doubles. First guy, just chip something into the, uh, I think Philo calls it, Kenny's, Kenny's earlobe, the fat part of the green. <laughs> Give yourself a circle two look, and then... You know, let your partner maybe give this a little bit of an ace run. I mean, we had we saw one earlier. We didn't see it, but there was one earlier in the week, so it's it's available. Yeah, this is definitely more aggressive. Oh, oh. <laughs> just a hair short there, but you love the you love the aggressiveness. You love the line. Big shot for NC State to get back on track here. Oh, this is looking nice. Does it have the right speed, though? Just too much on it. A lot of pressure now onto Logan Edelman. Got to put this one in bounds. This is looking like it's coming in hot. Oh, no, it's perfect. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Just behind the basket. Wow. We almost got one. We almost got it. That's an insanely clutch shot there with his teammate out of bounds, too, to put it that close. Oh. oh. Man. Oh. Should see a full run here, though, now. 
can't leave this short. 50 footer or so. And maybe 45. Oh, and another bid though, so. Hopefully he gets his putter back. Yeah, it's kind of a gnarly reaction off the cage there. Oh no. We don't know either, Gus. You've been on fire today. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you have that one, Gus, after after those big putts he made on the front. His teammate will pick him up. Nice putt there from Liam McWhorter. Grabbing that. Yeah, he's got to have a couple credits in the bank with those shots he had on the front nine. Oh, yeah. He's able to miss one or two in the circle. Yeah, he, he He's earned his, his hold to take a break. All right, hole 15 here, 647 feet. You are teeing from the dock on this one. It's one of my favorite holes in disc golf. As we get up the fairway here, you see the OB is still lining the fairway. It is such an important second shot, and it is so difficult to execute well. Such a demanding two-shot hole. Looks like... See State lining up the backhand here. This is fading out for Liam. Does it hang on? Unfortunately, that one's going to be out of bounds. All right, Gus, your team needs you again after that break from the last hole. This is looking nice. Oh, that skip oh, up the hill. Are you kidding me? You almost never see We've that. Seen We've seen that all week, and they all get up to that OB line and then just roll down to the center of the fairway. Man, we've seen some really unfortunate breaks today during this round from both teams. Yeah. Everything that seemed to go Charlotte's way yesterday is, uh, and for both of these teams, just not the same today. That one's pulled, going to catch the left side rough and drop out of bounds, but... First shot was in, so this is probably playing close to 400 feet into the green from here. Very demanding shot. Oh, did he get it, though? I think he did. Oh, that's going to be close down there. Oh. Just a bit short. Wow. If he gets that thing, you know, three, four more feet up the hill, it's probably going to skip flat and not down the hill like we saw. Just shows you how difficult this is. Game of inches. Oh my goodness. Oh, both up shots wow. out of bounds for UNC Charlotte. They are going to have a, a chance to save the par up by the green. But NC State needs to get up and down here to save their par. That is pulled and kicks inbounds. Inter I feel interesting that they're taking this one, whereas I feel like this is a harder shot. The other one is probably a little longer, but I feel it's more straight on. Yeah, a little easier to play up the hill, I would think, as well, but they like the hyzer yeah. play. Too wide. So now a tough up and down for the bogey. Oh, but look at that sidearm. Some of these turnover sidearms we've seen have been incredible this week. Yeah, it seems like all of these players just dialed with their touchy little sidearm game. Even Gus throws a nice one, too. That's going to go a little bit deep. Might be out of bounds, but... Yeah, I love that he, you know, gave it a bit. Very favorable oh. spot for Charlotte there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, grabbing their par, though, with the bogey stroke, very impressive. Yeah, I mean they had a spotter up there, so I'm not I'm not trying to cause controversy here. Don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, that's a big time par save for them. Big time putt there with the headwind going downhill at the elevated basket. If that's not a death putt, then I don't know what is. Sometimes you live for those, or die. You know, just get you get you going again. But uh, hole 16, 283 feet, double mando, slightly downhill. This is one of those holes that just kind of eats away at you at the end of the round. You step up to the tee pad and you're like, I got to get this one. And 
You should be able to with it only being 283 feet. Yeah, especially with two shots at it. You'd hope these guys are able to at least give their teammates a putt. That's pulled out of the hand, though. He believes in his teammate, though. Let's see if Jack Lang can step up. Wind lull, it seems. Oh, it's a little low. Can it skip over? Ooh, that is going to be a hard, hard putt for Birdie from there. Yeah, those bushes are about 50 feet short, so it's going to be a tricky little lie coming up for UNCC. NC State now with an opportunity. This is looking pretty nice. Oh! Catches the koozie. What a shot. Oh my goodness. From Zach Guess. Inches short of what would have been an all time ace. Oh, but his team. Oh, I thought we were about to see two in a row. If that misses that branch, wow. I think that has a really good chance of bringing it up. Up. This has got to be a full send now. Both of these teams trying to track down Cincinnati. Had the height, but just a little too much juice. Wind got under that one a little bit. And what a battle we have here. The University of Cincinnati has kind of snarled since that um, those three birdies in a row, but these three teams are still just neck and neck right now, going down the stretch. Hole 17, 409, OB, right and left side. This one is not an easy get, but one that you need to make sure coming down the stretch that you get the three. Worth mentioning, at this point, University of Cincinnati, like you said, Nick, is in the clubhouse with a score of 27 under par. So Charlotte needs to at least, with their score of 25 under, needs to either go birdie birdie, or the next hole potentially eagleable to try to get themselves into a chance to force a playoff. Right now, none of these teams looking like they're going to have a birdie look here on the 17th. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, that one might be flirting with that out of bounds over there. These teams need to be trying to, th need to at least be thinking about trying to throw this in right now. NC State would need to go birdie eagle to have a chance to get into that playoff. A nice recovery shot, but... Oh, sneaks into that right side out of bounds. Ooh. A little short there. Okay. So they're up there for their par. They're going to need to eagle. That's right. Nice hole. Yeah, two strokes back. Cincinnati in the club of Cincinnati, who is in the clubhouse. As we're about to see, it is there, but it is a very demanding hole. And uh, but they know what they need to do. Yeah, let's take a look here. Hole 18, par 5, 747 feet. You have an OB circle here that we're flying over on the right. You have the OB on the left. If players can get across this OB into this area here, they have a chance.
to get into the green to access that eagle we're talking about. We saw some opportunities yesterday, or I mean two days ago. Um, can they do it? Yeah, at this point, NC State needs a miracle to find themselves in a playoff. This is actually a great shot, though, from Zach Guess. That's really what you want to do is kind of push that OB bubble as close to it as possible to really open up your angle into the green. That one's a little too far right. Um. Placement on this tee shot is going to be everything for UNC Charlotte. This is a safe line. Oh. Okay. It's out there, though. It's a good shot. Not in eagle range, I would say. It'd be a pretty tough one, I would agree. Yeah, Glenn's going to have to get a lot more aggressive here if he wants to give his team a chance. Oh, I like this, though. Oh, yeah, I got that little bit of flip Doesn't up. have the distance. Oh! Off the rock. Oh, it's out of bounds. It's out of bounds? Oh, my goodness. Oh, a game of inches. Wow. So that just... It, we see him lining up the roller. I would say this one's probably out of reach for them, though, now, unfortunately. Yeah, the angle is just so I, pinched from over here. You can see the mando tree from this angle, but, yeah, like you're saying, it's just... It's, oh, it's basically a U-turn that they're trying to throw. I mean, that was a great shot, but it just it didn't push far enough straight. Tom lining up the uh, forehand. This could maybe get them into deep circle, too, if it gets a big skip. Oh, that's a huge skip. Oh, my goodness. From out of position to back into position. That's probably a 90 to 100 footer, but hey, I got a chance still. Yeah, I'm thinking deep circle two coming up. I mean, that was uh, about as good as you could have thrown the forehand there from Tom. Just really pushing that Mando tree with something super overstable. Got the huge flare skip. Oh, and this is even better. Oh, just a bit deep, actually. But yeah, they're going to have okay. a chance. We've got some putts here. So two putts here for Eagle for UNC Charlotte looking to force a playoff with Cincinnati. Oh, Jack. Good bid. Jack. Good bid. Just a little short. Just a bit short for Jack Lang. So the hopes of the 49ers fall into the hands of Glenn Fister. Call this a 70-footer for Eagle. He's dreamed of this moment here many times, I'm sure. Corner. Glenn Fister keeps the 49ers hopes alive. I got chills, Nick. What a wow. Wow. Two shots ago, I told them they were out of it. They sure proved me wrong. Down Back hill. in it they are and headed to a playoff. Oh, my God. Look at him. You can see how much this means to them. Dude, that was all of 80, 90 feet. Wow. Oh, my. Let's go, God. sports. Sports, dude. Sports. Oh, my goodness. What a putt. NC State now with an eagle look of their own. Unable to get into the playoff. Basket to be in. They are pretty much solidified now with this tap and birdie in third place. A very valiant effort from the Wolf Pack. 
a great round, but UNC Charlotte coming up clutch on the 18th. Wow, and here's our leaderboard from today. Like I said, going into that playoff with UNC Charlotte and the University of Cincinnati. Thank you to all of our colleges for participating. What a week it's been so far. The week is not over yet. Here we go. Cincinnati going to lead things off. We got Tanner Young. We saw him a little bit in the singles round earlier in this week. Going to lead things off. We're going to play 1 through 18 on a loop, sudden death, until we have a winner. A little wide, but not bad, to be honest. Not bad. Take that for the first shot of the playoff. I feel it's obvious, but same rule still applies. Alternate. Correct. Everything still. Yes, same format. Okay. Just sudden death. Okay. That was Got one around the corner there. Bradley Caldwell there with a very solid forehand for Cincinnati. As we take a look at the local boys from Charlotte. Tom Stanley with a very solid forehand as well. Oh, that's got some juice on it. Oh, that playoff adrenaline. Send one to the camera, man. Let's go. We haven't seen many of those this week. National championship on the line, and we are in sudden death. I cannot imagine the kind of pressure these guys are feeling right now. Oh, this looks nice. That looks real nice. Huge roller out of Owen Rice. UNC Charlotte looking like they're in a great position. We got Ilkin Gra coming up. With the forehand here for Cincinnati, looking to put them close. Oh, he catches the tree. Ooh. I really liked it out of his hand, to be honest. I thought it was going to be well in front of that tree. So the pressure lies on Lucas Fogel song. A beautiful. Oh, puts it in the bullseye. Pressure has moved. Yeah. Pressure flips back to Charlotte now. After those great drives, I'd say probably right around 300 feet into the pin here. Okay. Checks up. Got a putt. Checks up inbounds. Circles edge. Those putts have been giving them trouble today. And as you can see by the flag, the wind is still whipping out here. So... Glenn, after hitting that crazy putt on 18, would love to put this a little closer for his team. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> I was thinking, could you imagine if he if he just rung that one up for the national title? Oh. But just a birdie. It'll get the job done there. Couple tap ins. Hole two feels like the kind of hole that could uh, decide this thing. Yeah, I agree. UNC Charlotte up first here. Playing the smarter out and around route that we've seen first to then allow the second player to go for it, I would say. Yeah, I think uh, I, I'm going to go out on, on a limb and say. If either of these two teams are able to birdie this hole, I think that is going to be enough to take it down. This is the aggressive line coming from Glenn Fister. Let's see if he can put this in bounds with the forehand. Oh, and I think that's going to be too wide. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough shot today with this right to left. You can kind of see the flag blowing. Not a ton, but it's enough to move your disc a little offline. Yeah, you want to start this one at the pole, at the basket, and have it kind of hold straight. This is nicely done from Elkin. Comes up a bit short, but that is in a, at a runnable distance. Well, this is looking pretty good. 
Oh, and it, no, it just barely runs out of juice. Wow. Wow, that could have been real nice. Had maybe five more feet of go to it. Here's the layout. I feel like we've been here before. We have. Pretty much identical spot to where Charlotte was in round four. Got to give this a bid. Had enough speed, at least. Not the bid you want, but... Oh, this is... This is in the 50, 60 foot range. So, they got a putt here for the national title. Stays in bounds though, so full run opportunity here. Gotta be a full run. Gotta be above the basket going past it. Oh, wow. Good effort. Just a bit right. So a couple of pars here on hole two. And the playoff. Which I'm not really surprised about. No, not surprising. But it could have been an epic finish if somebody canned a long one there. Yeah. All right, hole three here. We're flipping back and University of Cincinnati teeing off first. The infamous beach hole. This is looking really nice. Needs to hook up, and it does. There's a circle edge putt. Yeah, that's going to be about a 40. That's right where the drop zone is, pretty much. About a 40-footer, a little downhill. Now we can see the little more aggressive line, a little more overstable disc, try to put something in the sand. Oh, it just comes out low. They got to look, though. Oh, this is looking really nice. Can it get under it? It does. Oh, oh, here we go. Owen Rice here. with a clutch drive on the third. Puts it in the sand. Cincinnati going to have to make a long one to keep the playoff alive now. Shot out of bounds, but it's not going to matter. All right, here we go. Two cracks at this 40-footer to push us into hole four. Oh, this is only 34 feet. Oh, yeah, you can see the whisper. It's just outside the circle. Oh, dang it. I thought that one might be in, but, man, that one dropped in a hurry. Just an inch low. Flag pretty still. One last chance for the Bearcats. Oh, heavy. And that chains, is likely going to do it. But unable to drop it. So Jack Lang with a chance to tap it in for the national title. UNC Charlotte, after a roller coaster final round, is able to take it down. What an event. Wow. What an event. And the only time we really questioned them was the beginning of this last round. But ever since, you know, about hole seven, when they got that first birdie of the round, they've, they've been the team we've seen all week. The team to beat the number one power ranked team coming in and they proved why they were that. In 2024 college disc golf national champions, the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Huge congrats to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte for taking down the men's Division I team national title here at College Nationals. What a week, Nick. What a week it's been from singles to doubles. It's been fun. It's been a great time to be here in the booth with you. Yeah, I've enjoyed it as well. 
Thanks for joining, Nick. Thank you to everyone at home for tuning in and watching all of this exciting action unfold. Thank you to all the competitors and congrats to our, all of the newly crowned national champions here at College Disc Golf Nationals. For Nick Hansen, I'm Nathan Johnson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.